There are three ways to compose, I like to say. The first way is theoretical, which is what this video is going to focus on. The next one is trial and error, which is going to be part two. And part three is the way I usually use, which uh, is from the inspirational source. And that's where you listen to melodies and chords in your mind away from the piano, as if the piece is already composed somewhere in the ether. And then you go to the piano um, every sort of few bars or so and simply play it off as if you already know it. It's very interesting. So hopefully you'll stick around for part two and part three as well. So let's get straight to the point with this part one. Part one is theoretical, which means you can either create your own restrictions and confines or you can follow traditional uh, structures such as the 32 bar jazz songs 12 bar blues um, maybe a little chord progression that you've learned recently like the 6251 moving up a fourth that kind of jazz stuff and you can choose what notes to play in the right hand so I'm going to give you a little demonstration just to fill in part one we'll take for example a 12 bar blues and I'm only going to use the notes of the blues scale of C. So nice and simple, but of course you can expand this into your own ways. It's just a very nice way to get into it because when you're composing, you might have a million different ideas and uh, you just stumble You just because there's too many things in your mind. So it's very nice to just put it into little blocks, make it nice and easy. So first things to do is choose your structure, choose your key, uh, choose your time signature, choose your tempo, choose the notes you're going to play, choose the kind of chords you're going to use, all these kind of things um, to then compose within now when you're writing down the composition you might want to do what i do which is just uh i just write down the chords uh like, like this you know just as as letters and that's it and i just remember the melodies usually unless i haven't played it for ages of course and uh or because if you write them down on the manuscript it just takes a bit more time maybe you have some menu maybe you have a uh, midi cable going to the laptop and you can have the computer write it for you that's fine i guess but try to get used to remembering chords their melodies without writing everything down absolutely note for note even these chords here they're not like written down properly that's that they're just written down after a, after a slash because i remember how long they last each one so um let's just see what happens playing within the confines of maybe a shuffle left hand blues kind of thing a boogie not boogie a shuffle 12 bar blues using c f and g nice and simple i'll give another demonstration after like a more jazzy one and we're going to find a melody. Uh, it's going to be about that tempo, whatever that comes out to be as. And uh, 12 bar blues and using other notes of C blues. So let's just, before we, now we've got the left hand established, let's just focus on writing out mentally a melody within these confines. So we've, we can feel what it sounds like. We only have a particularly small pool of notes. It's only a six note scale. So let's see what we can get. Let's just, uh, you're sort of using a part of uh, number three method, but it's you're just going to play these notes only. So let's just see what we can get. Let's just kind of get something like, um, that sounds quite nice. I can't remember what I did. Maybe like that. And we might move up to bar. So I need to remember this. remembering it as numbers and physical shapes so flat seven from the blue scale of course to the five sliding from the minor to the third it's okay because it's okay in the blue scale that's okay or you sound the e flat your choice so now on the f let's make it to be um uh over that So just like that. I'm not going to write the whole song. I'm just giving you an example of how how, how the process might go. So from the beginning, uh, no, from the F part. That's how, so from the beginning. So you'd write down these notes, and that's how your composition is going to come about uh, like that. Now uh, let's just do a quick one in the key of C with the six two five one. Don't want to make it too complicated. I'll just do a nice common pattern here: A minor seven, D minor seven. G7, C major 7, and then it can go on. But again, what are we going to play in the right hand? Uh, just the diatonic notes of the key that we've selected, which is C. So I'm only going to play the white notes, but we don't say it like that. We just say the key of C because there are no black or white notes. They're all numbers in a major scale. So let's just um, pick out a nice little pattern here. Something that's nice to do is to aim for sort of 
what I, I guess a nice word like parallel, parallel melody, something like this. So you kind of, so let, let me just play something like, um, something like that. So it kind of went, and then I might do something similar somewhere else, even from here. That kind of thing. So let's just see what that sounds like. Now I could have done it quicker with the chord, so it might have gone, um, So I play the chords for two beats instead of four, and of course we get to the end of that better, so that might be nicer. So again, you'd write that down, and you've, it's easy. You might do it in another key, key of E flat, and we'll only use the key of E flat, so you can transpose it very easily, because you've learned it by numbers, your own composition by numbers. So um, this is a very good way to, and of course you can expand it, of course. Uh, it's a good way to get started with these confines. You don't get too overwhelmed by all the endless possibilities on the piano, and... Um, I'm very excited already to be doing part two with you and showing that because part two is uh, where it's called trial and error, as I said, and you really do not think about structure, chords, diatonic notes. You just think about uh, what sounds right. You just play random notes with random chords and put some really cool stuff together. Um, hopefully this little video has been of use to you. Part one. There you go. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and always welcome. Have a look at my video, imagine my website, Walter Peanuts and Syllabus, Facebook, Patreon, and all my playlists. And I'll see you in part two or another video. All the best, and bye for now.